uh, you've certainly done it with this one. Um, <laughs> I'm struck by the opening of the film is the, so much of it has to do with Ronit's father, who is the Rav, he's the head rabbi of this closed community of ultra-Orthodox Jews. So much of it is um, <clears throat> driven by the fact that he drove you away, your character away when you were younger. Yeah. How, how long is the period of time, do you think, between it's when unclear. you leave and when I mean, you come back? I think it's back? at least 15, 20 years, probably, mm -hmm. yeah. The only time we get to see him speak is the very beginning, and he's, he's speaking to the congregation, and he's talking about how humanity's free will, and I've got this written down so I get it wrong, how humanity's free will suspends us between angels and beasts and gives us a choice that is both a privilege and a burden. But how do you think those ideas of, of, of choice, of free will, play out in this film? Who is choosing in this film? Well, I think in, in the course of these seven days, each character has to decide, do I want to continue to lead the life that I have been living? Because it's easier, more comfortable, I don't want to make waves, or do I actually have to change and realize, I, have to, I just have to change, I have to change my entire life, and everyone has the ability to do that. Um, I can't remember your question now because I no, got no, to the no, end of it. I <laughs> asked you who who is making who is changing All who three. is making this choice. All three characters: so Alessandra Nivola's character, David, Rachel McAdams, Esty, Ronnie, in different ways, mm -hmm. go through um, seismic shifts that they have to decide for themselves that I'm no longer going to live the life. That, I mean, my character is more subtle in that mm -hmm. she comes back and makes peace with where she's from. Mm -hmm. um, and I think her life will be different because of that. There are a few moments in the film where your character, Ronit, is sort of re-entering and, and thinking again about what her childhood was like. Like there's a moment where she puts on the traditional wig of an ultra-Orthodox woman. Yeah. And what, what is that moment for you as an actress? What, is, what do you think Ronit is going through there? Yeah, she's, um, well, I think in the seven days of the film, all three characters time travel a little bit back to their adolescence. They were childhood friends, mm -hmm. all three of them. They grew up together, and now they're supposed to be adults, but I'm not sure they really are properly yet. But I think after the end of the film, they are. So, yeah, Ronit, Ronit's going back. She's tasting the cakes that she used to eat as a child. She's, she's, pl she's playing with the identity of what it would have been like had she stayed, uh, I suppose, in that moment where she tries on a wig. She's a little disrespectful with it, but, um, yeah, she's having a go. There's a moment for David. David, how do you say it correctly? David, yeah. David. Yeah. So who's the husband of Esty, who yeah. is your childhood friend, who I, I think she is, she's the one who you have the love affair with. <gasps> which I don't think I'm giving it no, away. No, the post is giving the it away. Let's face it. Away. Let's face and it. The, we the know. Giving we everything know. Away. Yes. Okay. Shh, don't listen. Good. <laughs> He's having to make a choice too. He's yes. making a huge choice. Yes. And and he's a, he's a man tortured between what he knows is the truth, his own wife's truth, yes. and what his own tradition yes. uh, demands, not only of himself, but of his family. He's going to be the new Rav. He's the, going to be the person who's going to lead the community. Yeah. And now he has in his own house something that is a violation of the standards of his own community. Yes. In, in, in some ways, he, he makes a choice that's just as difficult as the other characters are making. Oh, my goodness. If, if not... Yes, absolutely. I mean, mm -hmm. there, there are three leads, and it's Sebastian Lelio's kind of extraordinary talent that he, he makes each, each one of these three characters the center of the story. They, 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 mm -hmm. Each of them, n n not, not, n there's no antagonist. There's no one who's in the wrong. Everyone is struggling um, to do the right thing. Um, and, yeah, the, the decision he has to make is, doesn't, I mean, doesn't get any bigger than that.